Yo, what up, guys? That's CG, so the gamer. NBA playoff predictions starting right now. We got Anto the boss right here. Big time sports fan. You guys know who it is. What's up, Anto? Chill. What's up, everybody? What's up, sub? It's your boy Anto the boss here. And we got some NBA first round predictions, man. It's going to be exciting. A lot of us are excited about it. I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. It feels like Christmas. I'm so excited, man. It feels Two like more days. Let's. Let's go, dude. It's going to be insane. So many teams to cover. Let's start this off, man. All right, which side do you want to go? Eastern or Western? I say we start with the East first. Yeah, I like that. I like that. All right, so we're going to jump right into uh, the 1-8 matchup, I guess. We got the Miami Heat and the Milwaukee Bucks. We've actually talked a lot about this. So you want to go ahead and talk about your matchups, who you think is going to win in this one. So we got the 1-8 Okay, so we got the Miami Heat, LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh versus Milwaukee. In my opinion, I feel like Miami's going to easily win this, but I know you think otherwise. I mean, honestly, what I called earlier, I said I think 4-3. to three. I said the Milwaukee Bucks are definitely going to give the Miami Heat the work in this one. It's not going to be... I, see, a lot of people are like, yeah, this is going to be an easy one. I, in my opinion, I don't think it's going to be a breeze. Monte Ellis is going to match up pretty good against Dwayne Wade. And Brandon Jennings, that's my key, man. He has to go off against Mario Chalmers. Also, you got Larry Sanders. If he's healthy, is he even healthy? I think he's healthy. Uh, Larry yeah, I Sanders, think he's good. Larry Sanders, Ilya Sova, they have to be big as well. Uh, going up against Chris Bosh and Haslam, I guess. But they, uh, Miami Heat, they did a pretty smart move by getting Birdman. You know, he's definitely been big in the last couple of months. So it's going to be a pretty good matchup. I don't think it's going to be that much of a breeze for Miami. But they should be advancing to the second round and in the second uh the matchup we got is the two and the seven we got new york knicks and the boston celtics and um do you want to take this one let's go man i mean dude the new york knicks right now are just playing spectacular carmelo anthony the scoring champ i mean this dude is going insane i think Yo, they have a lot of pressure to win this man he's shooting beach balls it's that exactly. big the basket it's is that big for him this is Rucker Park for him right here. I mean, this is this is simple. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I definitely agree with you. I definitely have the Knicks in this one. Again, we both talked about this earlier. The injuries for the Boston Celtics. I mean, I think these guys are going to get worn out by Game 6, which I have them going up to Game 6. Yeah. No Rondo. I mean, yeah, I see Knicks winning this one too. I got 4-2. Okay, yeah, I, I can see 4-2 as well. Right, now we so got Indiana go and Atlanta, man. Three and six, dude. My opinion, not going to be the funnest matchup to watch, but what do you think NBA about this TV. one? <laughs> <laughs> this is a matchup that's going to be on NBA TV. Like we talked about earlier, uh, a lot of pressure is going to be on Josh Smith, sort of in the same shoe as Carmelo Anthony, because this guy, you know, hasn't really done too much damage in the playoffs. We all know he's stellar in the regular season. He might be, I think he's in his contract year, so it's definitely going to be a big one. You also have the most improved player, Paul George. So it's it might not be the flashiest playoff matchup, but I definitely have the Indiana Pacers easily moving on in this one. Same here, man. Great coach, great center, Paul George, just like you said. I can see this team going on to the next round as well. Definitely. Now, Brooklyn and Chicago. My team right here, Chicago, man. I'm really rooting for Chicago on this one. Derrick Rose might not be coming back, but I know that the Chicago Bulls have some great defense, and I think they can pull this one off, man. What do you think about this one? Yo, if Derrick Rose, if, big word, if, if Derrick Rose comes back, this could easily be one of the most entertaining matchups. One of the most entertaining matchups, but it, as of now, it seems pretty unlikely. Um... I do have the Chicago Bulls advancing, uh, probably best out of seven, but Darren Williams is going to be key in this one. I think he's going to have probably one of his best playoff rounds ever in his oh, career. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's been wanting to go to the playoffs for a long time, and now he has his chance. So let's see what happens, man. This Saturday. And the Bulls have beat him three out of one in the regular season, so they do have the advantage in this one exactly man <laughs> all right dude now time for the western conference now this is something that's gonna go insane the one versus eight matchup the okc thunder versus the houston rockets 
oh man, this is gonna be. It just feels scripted. It feels like I'm watching WWE um, because this is like crazy. All the hype that went on when the trade happened. It just it just seems like James Harden is like that villain who's out to prove everyone in OKC why you know they should have kept him. You know, but it's definitely going to be a big one. But I just don't see quite. I don't see the Houston Rockets advancing in this one. I think uh, the Westbrook and Jeremy Lin matchup. It's gonna be. You talked about the. Uh, yeah, you talk. You were talking about the the matchup between Kevin Durant, who was gonna guard him. Talk exactly. about exactly. But... Well, I mean, you think Chandler Parsons, but then you gotta see James Harden probably might be the only one capable of doing so. So I can see a James Harden versus Kevin Durant matchup on this one, man. Definitely. And if you guys are watching this, make sure you, we want to hear your uh, comments as well. We want to hear your opinions. So if you guys are watching right now, make sure you leave a of comment course. below and tell us your predictions. What you think exactly. And next up, we got. Probably one of the most hyped up one as well. Oh my the Lakers God. and the Spurs, man. What do you think? Le well, we know one thing for sure. T Max is coming back. We got to see how well this guy plays. But this is going to be great, man. I'm so excited. My most anticipated one for exactly. sure. Exactly. And I already, I already said it, man. NBA, WWE, I'm comparing it a lot in this one because The Rock came back, right? People were like, oh, The Rock is worn now. He's like an old pillow that you don't sleep on. Well, The Rock was WWE Champion for a year, right? So T-Mac is coming out. People are saying he's a worn-out racer. But, hey, man, he might come and do damage. But all the hype that's going towards the Lakers, Dwight Howard, a lot of pressure on his shoulders. I think he's definitely going to look like himself during the Orlando days. Him and Paul Gasol, they're going to... I feel like they're going to be too much for Tiago Splitter and Tim Duncan. Uh, the the yep. age is definitely setting in. Him and Tony Parker. I don't know. Tony Parker definitely has to step up. But I have the Lakers game out of seven, best out of seven in this one, four to three. I see it too. I see it going game seven. George Hill wants to come back too. And if Steve Nash comes back too, man, I see LA winning this one as well, game Definitely. seven. All right, next one, we got the Denver Nuggets who have lost how many games? How many, well, how many was it, sub? Three, three, man, three games. I, it took me this long to figure that out. I didn't even know going in. I did not know <laughs> they've only lost three games so far and at home. So maybe coach of the year for George Carl, but we got the Denver Nuggets. I can yeah, see it. Yeah, me too. We got the Denver Nuggets and uh, the Golden State Warriors. Denver Nuggets in the regular season led that one 3-1. to one. Um, But I talked about it earlier. This is definitely going to be one of the most exciting. This is going to be like that Phoenix Suns offense that we used to watch like six, five years ago. Exactly, It's going to be fast-paced. This is offense. We're going to see alley-oops, three-pointers. This is going to be one of the most exciting matchups in my opinion. And I just can't wait until I'm behind that TV with the remote in my hand. I don't even need the remote because I'm not changing it. <laughs> I mean, Stephen Curry is going off. That's all I know right now, man. Stephen Curry is going to go and off. I, you know, I was iffy about this, but I do have the Golden State Warriors moving on. Best out of seven once again. 43. I got Golden State. Yep. I see Golden State going on. It's going to go right to the wire again. I can't wait. I know this is going to be insane. Definitely. So you want to get the next one? Let's go. The last one we got, the Los Angeles Clippers Woo! versus the Memphis Grizzlies, man. Woo! The last one right here, four and five. What do you think about this one, dude? First, I got to ask. I never till this day understood what the Clippers are. Are they like the Clippers from the barbershop or I don't get it? <laughs> All I know is they can lob, they can man. Lob. They can they lob. They can lob for sure, man. But in this one, I talked about it a lot. I just can't see the Clippers losing this one. No way. Um, you talk about Chris Paul and uh, the chemistry of the team has gone up. And I mean up. The chemistry on the team. You got guys like Ryan Hollins doing work every night. Um, the addition of Jamal Crawford has been big for them as well. So this is the depth on this team. And, you know, I don't take, don't take a lot of credit away from the Memphis Grizzlies. But them having to lose Rudy Gay and replace him with... Um, Tayshaun Prince I just don't see them going far in the playoffs I got this one I'm going to give two games to Memphis This is going to be 4-2 best out of 6 Okay I see this one going 4-1 to one. I think the Clippers with Chris Paul Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan Are just going to kill it But that's it for that first round But before we finish off man let's start talking Who do you think is going to the finals? I got uh, I'm going to get a lot a lot for this, but I do have the Knicks and the Thunder in the playoffs. I mean, in the finals. 
And uh, who's gonna win? I just have a gut feeling KD's taking it this year. Okay, I say LeBron James against Kevin Durant again, but I'm giving it to LeBron James two years back in a row. Back. He's just playing too good in my opinion. And he might even win the MVP. What a big year it's gonna be for him. Oh yeah, I, what a big I, year. So we definitely just threw down our predictions. Like I said, it's all opinion. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna get a lot of hate on some of the predictions that we've picked, but that is why we're leaving it up yep. to you guys as well because our 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 opinions don't really matter. It's all about the entire majority opinion. So make sure you leave your comment below. Let's see what people around the world are thinking about the playoffs. But we can both agree we're both excited for tomorrow, man. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be big, guys. So make sure you let us know in the comments down below. If you're watching this on my channel, don't forget to check out onto the boss beast right there all right oh, man i appreciate it of course man let's do work tomorrow guys all right guys all right guys peace let us know we out